it's time to test the Panasonic GX9 for street photography. And I shoot a lot of street photography and I mainly shoot with a Leica Q and a Leica M10. Now my Leica Q has a 28mm 1.7 Sumalux lens and my M10 normally has on it my 28mm um, Sumacron, which is an F2 lens. This is the newer version with the metal hood. Incredibly good lens, manual focus. The Q is autofocus, but I like my Leicas and I like shooting street photography with my Leicas. So I actually purchased the GX9 now, and I've put on there my 15mm 1.7 Sumalux lens. Um, this is very close to what the Q has on it, to be truthful, except for one's a smaller sensor than the other one, but it has a clicky aperture ring. You, you can't really go wrong with a clicky aperture ring. Yeah, I like clicky aperture rings. So when you shoot micro four thirds as opposed to full frame, if I'm shooting full frame F8 and say it was ISO 1600, I can shoot the GX9 F4 and I'm getting the same depth of field, but my ISO would be two stops lower. So this would be ISO 400. If I've got that wrong, leave me a comment below, but I think I've got that right. I'm hoping I got that right. So I need to test this camera for street photography. Now, where is the best place in the world to shoot street photography? As you can tell, I'm not in Auckland anymore. Um, I've come to Tokyo, Japan to test the new GX9 and I think I've just caught the tail end of the cherry blossom season. So that'd be quite nice. Now I've been using this camera for the last couple of days walking around the streets of Tokyo. Um, I normally use a Leica Q and a Leica M10 for my street photography. So this is a nice little camera. It's actually slightly smaller. It's a lot lighter than my Leicas. Um, I have the 15mm 1.7 Sumalux lens on there. Uh, great little camera. I actually picked up the grip. They've actually got them in stock here in Tokyo. It wasn't very expensive, but it adds a nice depth to the camera so you can grip it well and I don't need, don't need to use a wrist strap. Now, some things I like about the camera is the focusing system is super fast um, and the touch focusing on the flip out screen for street photography so you can hold the camera down here and just tap it and bang, it locks on instantly. It is an incredibly fast focusing system. What I don't like is the EVF. It's too small for me. Um, it's a nice little EVF, it's handy to have, but it's a really small EVF. Um, yeah, and I just don't like it. That's my personal opinion on that. And the other part that I don't really get on well with is the back button focusing that I do on most of my cameras. This one has a button that you can assign, but it, it's recessed within a ring. And because it's recessed within a ring, it's quite difficult to push in. So you have to really grip the camera. So yeah, it's, um, apart from that, it's a great little camera. Now I will put, put up some photos that I've taken over the last couple of days and um, I'm gonna have Karen looking around Tokyo the next day and I fly back to New Zealand tomorrow. Now, um, I will give you my final thoughts when I get back to Auckland.
as you can see, I'm back in Auckland and I'm back in the gallery again. It's a little bit nippy here, I have to say. Um, we had some beautiful weather in um, Tokyo and I got back here and we've had horrible storms all week. So anyway, but I'm inside the gallery. So this is my final thought on the Panasonic GX9. All of the photos you've just seen in the slideshow were shot in JPEG. They're direct out of the camera JPEG, unedited. I mostly use the OWL Monochrome D setting, which is the black and white simulator, I think they would call it, or profile. Um, it's incredibly good. It's a beautiful black and white, very deep, dark um, shadow areas. And the color photos were shot just in standard profile. Um, I also did shoot RAW as a backup, but I haven't edited any RAWs. Those are direct out of the camera, super sharp. Um, but they're just beautiful looking images and this camera delivered. In this bag, in there somewhere, is my heavy M10 and my Q. They were with me all the time, but 90% of the time I was shooting with this camera because it's so nice to shoot with. The flip out screen was amazing. I don't normally shoot live view, but with this I did. It was just nice to hold the camera down and just bang and focus. Um, another thing that I do with my cameras with the autofocus is I back button focus. So I will set the shot up, I will focus, and I will use the shutter to fire the shutter. So the shutter button does not um, activate the autofocus. All the autofocusing is done from back here. So if I want a continuous autofocus, I will just hold my thumb on this button, which is really annoying because it's recessed in there, with a little ring around it. I will hold it on there and I will shoot with the shutter. That will continuous focus. But if I want a single focus and I want to lock onto one point, I will focus and then I will tap the button. Then that is kind of like I would do with my Leica. I would manually focus, get ready for the shot, and then bang, take the shot. The lens is beautiful. This, if you're going to use a lens for street photography, this is the one to get. The 15mm 1.7 Sumalux with the clicky aperture ring. That's the lens you should buy. It's great. It kind of sits in the middle of the 28 and the 35, which is nice. Like again, I said before, I shoot mostly 28 on my cameras. I do have a 50 mil for my M10, but I don't use it that often. Um, I did pick up the grip, which is what I mentioned earlier. Um, the grip is here. This is the, it's, it's like a resin. It's a hard plastic. It's not metal. But the downside is when the grip goes on, it actually covers up the battery door and the memory card door. So that's a little bit annoying that you do have to take the grip off. But most of the time I was actually charging the GX9 by a power bank, because this can be charged by a USB in camera. So that's a nice feature to have. The grip does add a nice piece of depth to the camera. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice deep grip on there now, which makes a big difference. So I can hand hold it one hand and I can then back button focus. This is a really good camera. I, I own this camera. This is not a Panasonic camera. This is my camera. And I will be keeping this camera because it's just a nice little camera to use. It's a lot cheaper than my Leicas. I mean, this is around about 1,200 New Zealand dollars for the body only. The lens I think is about 800, but you don't have to have this lens. This is just personally me, I like this lens. Um, it also has a metal hood, which is always nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And there will be more videos coming soon, a little bit different than normal. And um, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions, or if I've mentioned something wrong, please tell me. But I think I've got everything right this time. And um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.